Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be making something really exciting. Um, I know in the last video I had promised you guys to do something fall related and I found the perfect thing that I wanted to try. So of course I went on Pinterest and I looked at a couple of things um, just to get an idea of what I wanted to do and I found this wreath, not your typical wreath, you know, like the circular one that you would see. So it's like a wooden plank with flowers and your um, initials so it can be personalized and a ribbon to tie to the door. And I just thought it was so pretty. When I saw this, I thought it was perfect because um, I do have some other ones that I've bought over the years that are just like the circular ones and I do want to try to make this one and use it this year for fall and I love the fact that you can personalize it and it seems fairly easy. Interesting thing is that they were selling these type of wreaths for about $50 on Etsy and everything that I got was $15 total. So yeah, I think this is going to be a good one and I am pretty excited to see how this is going to turn out. I think it's going to be a really good thing to have on my door for at least the fall and like maybe Thanksgiving. I'm not sure if I'm going to make one for Thanksgiving. If I see a really good one, I might do that. But if not, this is probably going to stay on my door for a couple months. Candy, are you having a diva moment? Did I interrupt your sleep? Andy? <laughs> so like I said previously, this came with no directions whatsoever. So I just practically looked at the picture and got stuff that match what was on the picture. And I'm just going to follow like common sense with like having a glue gun and cutting the um, leaves that I got a certain way. So I'm just going to follow my own. But and in the end, I think it's going to look pretty similar based on what I got. Alright, so I'm going to start going through the stuff that I got at the store to make this. And the first thing, of course, is going to be the plank. And it's not going to be the exact same one on the picture with the cutouts on the sides. But it is a rectangular shape and it's very close to the color that I saw on there. So I thought this would be perfect. And I found this at Walmart in the craft section. The second thing, of course, is going to be a glue gun. You're going to need it to glue um, all the stuff. The other thing that I got, of course, were the leaves. And in the original picture, they had flowers. They had like the same tone of colors. But for mine, I thought the leaves would be pretty. Um, and they had some flowers there, but the colors were kind of different than the ones that were on the original. And I kind of did want this like orangey red and yellow all together so this was perfect this was like 90 cents a piece and then i got the um two little pieces that are gonna go on each side so one's gonna go on the top corner and the other one's gonna go on the other bottom corner and um they have glitter and the exact same colors that are on the other leaves or close to them and i really like this it was a smaller size they had bigger ones but this is perfect for what i need and um, again, these were like a dollar. Next thing I got was the um, twine ribbon and it has a little bit of glitter on the sides. And I got the J that I actually use for my letters when I did the hot, the match, I still can't say it, the Mod Podge letters. So I went back and I got a J because my last name does start with a J. That was it, that's all the stuff that I got and so I'm just going to go ahead and get started and the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to paint the letter white because that's how it was in the picture and I think that it's going to be a really good color and I have white from my other projects. I'm going to cut some of these leaves because they are on a long stem. So I'm going to go ahead and cut them all the way up to where they connect all together. So for example, this little piece right here because all three are connected to it. Alright, so we got all of our leaves now. I do want to place them of course in the corner. And then I'm going to hide the um, all the little connections that I made right here. 
I'm gonna hide that with a little leaf right here. This is what it should look like so far. I'm gonna put my little pumpkin right here. There goes my first corner. And so far, it looks perfect. Here is what we have so far. And here's the first um, left corner, top corner that we did. And then here is the bottom right corner. And I am very happy, you guys. I think it turned out really good. And so far, I'm really liking this. I didn't really have a um, set plan in mind when I started this. So I'm really happy with what it looks like so far. So all we have to do now is add the J that is drying over there, which should be dry now, and then add the ribbon, and then maybe think about adding those little pumpkins and acorns, but I don't know. I think I like it the way it is right now. It just looks so cute. Um, and may I say that it actually looks a little better than the original. I don't know, I may be a little biased because like I, I really like the way that it looks, but um, you guys will have to let me know because I'm, oh my gosh, there's my shoe over there, ew. So yeah, you guys will have to let me know what you think. Now we're good to add the J and now it's completely dry. So I can go ahead and add it. going to put some of the glue and make it fold in half. Alright guys, so we are done with this video and I am so happy with how this turned out. The leaves and the pumpkin and just everything looks so good and I am just so happy with the result. This is so easy for you to do. If you want to try it, you can go to Walmart and get all of these materials because that's where I went and it will turn out just like this. So I am just really, really happy with the end result. And so here's the little ribbon too for me to hang it up in the door. Um, so I'm just really, really happy and I'm glad that I tried this. If you like this video and if you want to see any other fall videos, um, make sure that you like and subscribe and I will see you guys next time. Bye.